Hey kids, welcome back to Creativity with Mr. B. It's always great to be with you. Every time we're together, I'll show you a skill, then you'll practice that skill and create on your own. I'm excited about what we can create together. Today's project comes from Patty Palmer and her team at Deep Space Sparkle. There's a link to their page in the description of this video. Romero Brito is a Brazilian artist, painter, screen printer, and sculptor. His work combines elements of cubism with pop art and graffiti painting. He uses vibrant colors and bold patterns as visual expressions of dreams, hope, and happiness. All of his work features his trademark geometric patterns and textures rendered in a fractured cubism-like perspective. So today, we're gonna to create our very own pop art hearts in the style of Romero Brito. To create our pop art hearts, today we'll use line, color, shape, and pattern. We see patterns in art whenever any visual element is repeated. For materials, you'll need paper and pencil, a black marker or crayon for outlines, and something to add color with like crayons, markers, or watercolor paint. Before we get started, I want to give you a quick tip. Drawing steps should be done with the pencil first so that if you make a mark that's not your favorite, you can erase it and try again. Draw curved lines across the bottom of your paper. These are hills or the ground below this pop art sky that we're gonna be creating. Next, draw the sun which is another curved line in the lower part of the paper, and sun rays, which will bend up to the edge of the paper. Third, draw a large heart over and in between the rays. This is kind of the main thing in your sky. You can also draw extra smaller hearts all over the composition. Trace over your pencil lines with a black marker or crayon. Double up the black lines so that they're thicker. Then use watercolor paints, crayons, or markers to fill in all the white spaces. We're gonna be layering more details on top of these colors, so apply them lightly if possible. If you're painting, let your painting dry completely. Once your background is done and dry, add patterns to every space in the composition. If you need more ideas for patterns, refer to the pattern example sheet I've linked for you in the description of this video. Now we're all done. Take a second to look for the elements of art in your pop art masterpiece. Are there any lines? Where do you see color? How did you use shape?
where can you spot patterns? Wow, we did it. We created pop art hearts in the style of Romero Brito. Here's what my work looks like now that it's done. Be sure to share what you've created with your teachers, family, and friends. Keep on creating, and I'll see you back here real soon on Creativity with Mr. B.